Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Look, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button like it's your only chance to get a free donut. Today we're diving into some juicy superhero news that got the internet buzzing faster than a caffeinated squirrel. Spoiler warning. If you've somehow missed this news, this is your only chance to avoid spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine. That's right, we're talking about Ryan Reynolds' big dreams for Wesley Snipes' Blade after Deadpool and Wolverine. So, grab your favorite snack and let's get into it. So, here's the scoop. Ryan Reynolds, you know, the guy who makes breaking the fourth wall look like a contact sport while pushing the franchise into the billionaire's club, just dropped some major hints on social media about what he wants for Wesley Snipes' Blade. And guess what? It actually involves a send-off that's as epic as Hugh Jackman's exit in Logan. Yup. Ryan Reynolds is out here trying to give Blade the Logan treatment. And let's be honest, after he brought back Hugh Jackman and put him in a comic accurate costume, it kind of feels like manifesting movie magic is Ryan Reynolds' real superpower. Now, Reynolds took to X, formerly known as Twitter, and said there is no Fox Marvel Universe or MCU without Blade first creating a market. He's Marvel Daddy. Please retweet for a Logan-like send-off. So, basically, he's asking for a farewell and calling on those who have love for the Wesley Snipes iteration of the character. It's a plea that would make even the most stoic superhero shed a tear, or at least make a grown man misty-eyed. Let's not forget, Blade made his debut back in 1998. Yes, Zoomers, the 1900s. Long before the MCU was a twinkle in Kevin Feige's eye. Wesley Snipes was the original vampire hunter, and Reynolds wants to honor that legacy with a grand exit. In Deadpool and Wolverine, Blade shows up alongside Deadpool, played by Reynolds, and Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman. They're all chilling in the void, a sort of superhero purgatory, before they storm Cassandra Nova's fortress to get back to their own reality. Cassandra's played by Emma Corrin. It's like the ultimate crossover episode, but with more spandex and fewer commercial breaks. Blade even jokes in the film that there will ever only be one Blade, which is a sort of nod to the upcoming MCU's Blade, which will be played by Mahershala Ali. Yeah, that version of Blade has faced a few delays, as painful as it is to say that. But Snipes' Blade could still have a moment in the spotlight too. Marvel is doing this whole multiverse thing. Can't we just have two Blades in one movie? Hmm? Oh. And Reynolds wasn't just gushing about Blade, he also had some time to show some love for Channing Tatum, who plays Gambit in Deadpool and Wolverine. Tatum posted a thank you message and Reynolds responded with a heartfelt shout out calling Tatum a once in a generation talent and a genuinely good man. It's nice to see these stars being all warm and fuzzy with each other on social media, even if their characters don't always seem to like each other very much. Anyway, there you have it. Ryan Reynolds is working his magic to try to help Blade get the epic send-off he deserves. What do you think of the idea of Wesley Snipes' Blade getting a Logan-like send-off? Do you think this should be something Marvel considers weaving into their multiversal story? I want to see your guys' responses. 